And what's going on? It's your boy Joe Fontaine of the VIP Sound Lab, and I'm back with another one. I uh, just got an email from one of my VIP members in regards to how to track out the audio from machine inside Pro Tools. And I'm going to show you how to get that set up and what it's going to do. It's going to allow you to actually your MIDI editing inside Pro Tools. And I'll also show you how you can um, take it a step further from there and record your MIDI to audio. As you can see right now, I have my Complete 8 Ultimate 3D HD drum kit. I did a video on this uh, yesterday, I think it was. And uh, basically how this works, I have some instances of contact open inside machine. I have seven, seven separate instances of contact. There's many ways to do this. You can use um, machine as a sound module by going to your sound and MIDI bat setup. Uh, if you go right here, you go into sound MIDI bat setup. You can get a setup like that. Pattern drag mode. If you're going to let me get this out of the way, if you're going to be uh, dragging your MIDI notes, you want to make sure you have this set to MIDI. If you're going to do audio set to audio and use this little icon here. Basically what he's asking me is gonna work a little bit different. So basically to get that set up, um, what you wanna do, for example, we have uh, this particular instrument on sound one. So if I was to sound off, you hear that little instrument sounding out there. So we wanna get that audio inside your DAW. So how do we do that? Okay, no problem. What you do is you go over here under the out tab. I'm on the sound module, the out tab. You see right here it's saying output one. There are 16 assignable outputs from machine that you can assign to your host DAW. Now, on this particular situation, I selected out one. When I go to the next instrument, let me get this out the way, I went to output two, and so on and so on. You can follow along with me here as we proceed to output four, and we're going to output five here output six here and we're ending off on output seven here and you can see right here each instrument is on an assignable output the drum assignments is drum uh, channel one and two all these are on the same channel there's different ways you can get that set up but for this particular situation I want them all on the same MIDI channel um, I have a pad link between uh, this particular bass and this bass Again, if you want to trigger multiple instruments at the same time, you have them on the same pad group or you can have them on the same MIDI channel. But, you know, there there's so many methods of, of madness to get audio set up and routed. But I'm going to show you the, the, the quickest and the fastest way um, to get it done. And now you can see right here in my host DAW, I have uh, Pro Tools and I'm using Machine as a VST right now. So when I go to multi-channel plugin, when I go to instrument, I select Machine. OK, now. After machine, if you wanted to assign other, um, you know, plugins or whatever you want to do to boost the sound, you can do that. Uh, just make sure that your CPU can handle it, uh, as well as you have other tabs here in machine where you can, um, you know, use use the new tape and tube saturators, for example, you know, and get your music uh, EQ'd and, and tweaked up. But again, you know, that puts a load on your processor depending on how many cores you have. I don't know. I would suggest maybe a nice quad core, maybe with like an i5 uh, third generation, maybe like an i7. Okay, now a machine opens up as a VST uh, on an instrument track. These are instrument tracks. So when the audio is being routed from here, you will hear the audio in real time. I'll show you that in a second. But when, when but when you record it into uh, Pro Tools, this particular situation, it's going to be MIDI notes because these are instrument tracks. If I use audio tracks, you're going to see the audio waveform representation. So it's going to be on your preference, whatever you want to do. Me personally, I use the instrument track so I can do my MIDI editing. Now you can do the editing inside of machine and drag the MIDI notes over machine or rather in Pro Tools has a, a great function where you actually can split the MIDI notes in one uh, at one time over multiple channels and set your instruments up like this. But that's another tutorial. Um, all right. So you see right here on this first instrument track as I. Well, I'm not gonna say the first image track, but the fourth sound machine, you see it sounding off right there. And if I go to HD drums, you see that the LED sound in there, the pick bass sounding off there, pissy strings sounding off here, trim below. That's sounding off there. All right, so basically to get that done, what you wanna do is you want to set up your your MIDI uh, here inside of Pro Tools where it says machine. Uh, I have the second channel on channel two, the third channel on channel three, 
the next channel on channel four, this channel here on channel five. Count along with me here. Just bear with me. Uh, well, we're on channel six. And finally, ending off on channel seven. The more experienced users, you guys are more familiar with this. But, you know, there's people out here who are not familiar with that. So what this is doing is basically it's letting um, Pro Tools get the MIDI notes from the first instance of the VST. So these channels are sitting by themselves. They don't know what to do with themselves. So now they're, they're set up like this. So anytime I trigger the MIDI notes on this VST over here, what's happening wow. is that MIDI is getting bust into these instrument tracks. So now to get the audio to come out, there's one more thing that you have to do. Um, if you need to actually see these assignments, there's a, a button right here, man, where it says uh, edit window views you want to make sure that you have instruments selected otherwise you will not see that and there's also a mixed window view here where if you want to uh you know see your your sins and inserts and things of that nature which is basically what these are okay now these are your inserts these are your sins your inserts is where you want to set up your or rather get your vsts the sins is where you want to bust your sounds out for example when i was saying uh after you have the instrument uh midi uh, record it you can bust the sounds out by going to your audio output path selector here and bust it out maybe like on bus uh one and two three or four if you you know if you custom assign them um whatever you name it you want to have the input on the audio track here matching your output assignment here and you know you do that when you go on the track you create uh, uh a new audio track and that's how you get that set up but uh right now i'm just i'm just working with the midi right now <clears throat> okay, so now down here under your um, your inputs, again, you want to go to the plugin, select machine. Again, now you see right there saying out to. Now remember over there, we're, we're, we're assigning the outputs. Each one has its own individual output. So now we're setting the outputs up here to get the audio. So now when I go over here, this is output three. You know how it goes. Now we're on output four, output five. Okay, count it with me. Output six. And we'll go over here to output seven. Finally ending off. Now, from that point, it, it, it's set up. Everything's lined up in a sequential order. So now, as I showed you previously, when the LEDs were sounding off here, when I bring my, my transport control over, when I want to start recording, whatever I'm doing over here, as you can see, I hope you can hear, I hope you guys can hear that the way I have my uh, my mic set up anyway. When you start arming your tracks like this, the cool thing about it doing it this way, let me go ahead and get all these armed right quick. Now you see everything's armed, but it's not recording. Like no matter what I'm doing, all the channels are separated. As you can see right here, but the cool thing about doing it this way <clears throat> is now once you have it set up like this, you now can sit back, you can relax, you can do whatever you can play around, mess around, you know, get your vibe, <clears throat> you know, whatever you're doing to incorporate your uh, your sound into your mix. You don't have to worry about, you know, is it going to be in my DAW? Is it not going to be in my DAW? Is everything going to be working right? Everything's working perfect. So now when you're when, when you're done with that. You press, or rather, you know, if you're doing your MIDI notes inside of uh, machine here, make sure that you either go to a new um, pattern. For example, like say if you had your MIDI's here and you dragged and dropped them over machine, or or rather inside Pro Tools, or if you didn't, you know, you have to go to a new pattern and erase that. Otherwise, the MIDI notes are going to get triggered over here inside machine as well inside your DAW. So I'm going to pre-warn you on that. Um, you know, if you're going to do your, your MIDI editing inside of your DAW, make sure you do it there. You have to do it either or, or, you know, it's going to be too much going on. So, um, and that's pretty much it. And when you're recording and again, you know, and then once you get your MIDI notes recorded into your DAW, again, you can go over here to your output paths. And, you know, if you want to bust the audio into uh, on, a, on a separate audio channel and someone might say, well, why would you want to do that? If you have the MIDI notes, technically you don't have to, but Pro Tools, you can just uh bounce your um your session to this and everything's going to play fine you're going to get a big audio wave file at the end of your session it's going to process that but you know there are um some situations where you do want to bust your audio um or rather your midi to an audio track 
uh, perhaps to take a load off your processor to make your computer take some of that weight off your shoulders. Or you might want to have that for backups for later use. Perhaps, you know, you might want to chop that audio up later. You might want to put it in a drum kit. You might want to share it with a friend, whatever the case may be. So, right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, in, in a nutshell, that's the quickest and fastest way I could think to get your uh, your MIDI notes out of uh, machine into Pro Tools, have the option to bounce it to disk as whether uh, MIDI notes or audio, and you can sit back and relax. And as you can see, just basically have everything uh, assigned. And, and keep in mind over here, you can use your pad links and put certain instruments in uh, the same group and get instruments to trigger off at the same time so again this your boy drill fontaine of the vip sound lab i have a vip membership it's 9.99 no monthly fees i do free tutorial videos on machine machine 1.8 the new update uh we have a new uh machine 1.8 um host transport control mapping that gives you a complete and total control over your ableton live program uh we're going to be getting to some new ones with uh pro tools i have a new hardware versus software drum kit uh, where we're taking the actual physical SSL 4000 console and giving you the best of both worlds. We incorporate the characteristics of that console into our drum kits to give you the ca characteristics of the console. We went to a couple of studios in uh, New York as well as Atlanta, and we have some really great new drum kits, such as the new Lamborghini Triple XL drum kit. We have a new 3D HD format, some really, uh, really hard banging drum sounds. We have the new 808 Addiction drum kit. Uh, the new Beast Mode drum kit. We have the new Trapaholic drum kit for those who are into Dirty South music. Um, we have a lot, a lot of new things going over at the site. I'll leave the link for the site in the description. And one of the benefits to my website basically is when you sign up, it's a one-time fee, $9.99. Nine bucks and that's it. And you're locked in for a lifetime subscription. No matter what I'm creating inside the VIP database, whatever new comes out, you have the opportunity to get that for free. Everything in the VIP database is up for grabs. You go in there, there's tons of free drum kits in there as of, as as we speak. There's free there's free motif instruments, there's free drum kits, there's free everything. Controller editor templates, uh controller editor templates for reason. Just come on my website and you'll get a better grasp on that. And uh yeah, we even we're we're, we're further expanding out. We have a VIP database too now where we have uh even more uh instruments we're getting into some bigger drum kits some gigabyte two gigabyte size drum kits um and we have some some great uh free download of, of vsts we have a lot of freeware you know because we don't support any pirated software but we do have some great free vsts inside the database that can get you up and running and from some of our friends from other companies you know we have some free demos and installers and stuff like that so again this is your boy joe fontaine the vip sound lab i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned a little bit and it makes your workflow a lot easier as a producer. I hope to see you on the website soon, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.